This video will explain how to create and customize stochastic lattices using Inspire's implicit modeling tools. The stochastic lattice tool can be found in the implicit modeling ribbon. To begin, you will need some geometry you would like to fill with a lattice. Either pre-select the geometry you wish to fill or press the stochastic lattice button and then pick the geometry. You will notice we have entered the point edge set context, which is used to define how to generate the starting points and edges that will make up the strut lattice. The panel is split into two tabs, one for defining the points and one for defining the edges between the points. There are three main methods of defining points, random sampling, minimum spacing, and imported. With random sampling, the selected volume or bounding box of the volume is filled randomly with the number of points specified. This can be constant or set to a variable. With the minimum spacing method, the volume or bounding box is filled with a more uniformly distributed set of random points. The distance between two points should always be at least the minimum spacing specified, which can also be set to a constant or set with a variable. When importing points, use the import option and press the folder icon to open the file browser. Select the CSV file which contains the data that you wish to import. Make sure the data in the CSV file follows this format, a header with X, Y and Z, and then as many rows as needed with the X, Y, and Z coordinates. The coordinate information must be defined in meters. You can remove imported data by pressing the delete button. To define edges, switch to the edge tab. Here you can set how to connect the points. The valence option will define the number of nearest neighbors each point will connect to. This can be set to a constant value, a variable, or a field which allows for the valence to be controlled in space as needed. The Delaunay option will create a Delaunay triangulation of the points in the point tab and create an edge which corresponds to the edges of the Delaunay elements generated in the point set. It is also possible to import a set of edges using the import option. Use the folder button to open the file browser and select the CSV file containing the edge data. Make sure the data follows the shown format, a header with start and end, and then rows containing the start and end indices of the points defined in the point tab. Points are always zero indexed, so make sure zero corresponds to the first item in the list of points. Once you are happy with the definition of the point edge set, press the green tick to accept and move on to the stochastic lattice context. The stochastic lattice context allows you to apply filters to the point edge set, thicken the edges into a volume, as well as defining the outer body volume. At the top of the lattice body tab, you can select, create, or edit a point edge set. You can set the struts to be solid, or hollow, and you can choose to invert the solid void domains of the generated volume. The diameter of the struts can also be set here. By switching to the outer body tab, you can apply a shell around the lattice or combine the lattice with another volume and apply a fillet or chamfer between the lattice volume and outer body volume. It is possible to apply filters to the generated point edge set. Start creating a filter by pressing the add icon underneath the filter table. This will open up the point edge set filter context. Here, you can give your filter a name, choose whether it filters points or edges, set whether you want to keep the past filter criteria or failed. For edges, you can filter by a bounding body, length, angle, a field value, or manufacturability constraints. For numerical filters, you have to select an inequality to filter by, for example, less than, equal to, or greater than. You can then define the check value or values as a constant, variable, or field-driven value. For points, you can filter by bounding body, field value, or valence. With the bounding body filter, if no body is selected, the target ghost body is used by default, but this can be overridden by selecting another body. When you are happy with a filter, press the green tick to accept the parameters and return to the stochastic lattice context. More than one filter can be applied to a point edge set and they act from top to bottom in the table. Another filter can be added using the Add button as before. Here you can see the angle filter being applied on top of the bounding body filter. You can accept the filter using the green tick again and see the two filters in the filter table. You can edit a filter by selecting it in the table and using the Edit button or delete it using the Delete button. You can also reorder the filters by using the up and down arrows. When you are finished with the stochastic lattice, you can press the green tick to accept the lattice and exit the context.